So I told you I was going to look up and try to get you guys some information on how to score some products and get around maybe some of the limitations. So here we go. Have you been trying to figure out how I can get my groceries without going to the store? Or how I can get around the limitations because I need more food in my house than what I'm limited to. We're going to cover that. In the next few minutes, I'm going to have them go over this video and we're going to show you, I'm going to explain and show how you can get around this type of a situation. And it is very, really quite simple and easy. It may cost you a little bit of money in the long run, but it can also keep you out of the store and get you around certain types of limitations on products. Now, we all know Walmart has a delivery service, Target has a delivery service, uh, quite a few places have delivery services now. And they also, you have Instacart that you can order from. Now, not all areas offer these type of uh, programs. Now, if you live in an area that doesn't uh, offer these type of programs, you're pretty much stuck with just trying to go in there every day if you need to stock up for a hurricane or hurricane supply kit. Now, the way this works is you can take and you can also order online and have your groceries delivered. Now, if you sign up for their regular delivery service for a whole year, you'll pay a fee for that and it differs from, from from place to place. But in that, when you do that, what happens is, is you can get as many deliveries as you want. Now you can also get as many deliveries as you want, but you just have to pay the delivery fee. Now those range anywhere from $5.99 to 10 bucks, depending on the time of day that you pick. Now the key to this is, especially with Walmart, because that's the service that I use, is you want to pick the earliest available appointment that there is which is normally between 8 and 9 o'clock in the morning reason being you want to have the first pick of the food that they have just stocked from the previous night so if you, you if you can get that slot that time slot you're pretty much kind of guaranteed you may get quite a bit of the products that you did order because they have been stocking the shelves overnight. The later you wait into the day, the less you're probably going to get. Now, there are other ways that you can get around this and we're going to talk about those right now. Now, we're going to take a look at some of the big box stores, Sam's, Costco, and BJ's. Now, one thing to remember with these clubs are you're going to have to have a membership. So you'll have to pay for that. But they all are running different types of sales to get your business in the door. Now, the best thing about and the best benefit about joining one of these clubs is compared to a grocery store where you are limited to two cans to four cans on any given product and on a lot of other products as a paper goods and things of that nature if you go to the big box stores you're buying in bulk so when you're buying whatever it is that you're looking for you know you're buying in a huge quantity you're buying more eight packs and most of the stuff is six packs and up so six up to a 12 pack and you can get several different things at Sam's, I know they do carry the freeze-dried um, foods, and they also have the ready meals. So if that's something that people are interested in, that would be a good place to go and try looking for those products. Now, as we move on over to BJ's, remember the best time to go for some of these stores is always going to be first thing in the morning when they open because a lot of these websites are not updating fast enough as the product is coming in it's going out the door and the website doesn't it doesn't uh, commute to the website in time for people to see that it's available or not available so your best bet would be the, to be there when they open and you may have to get in line but you may be able to get in and get some of these said products that even on here show that they are sold out now also remember you are buying in bulk that's what I'm showing you here everything is huge and in bulk so you're getting more bang for your buck as we move over to Costco's it's the same deal 
as you can see you get a limitation right up to the very top and you can get everything you know at these stores from you know chicken tuna you can get uh, salmon in a can um, there's Vienna sausages uh, all types of uh, veggies and stuff you know it's your paper products and all this kind of stuff so it's just another way that you can try to uh, get more product and try to stay out of the stores less so if you're looking for more information on how to do this and how you can try to keep yourself or your family out of the stores and try to uh, let's say get more bang for your buck and try to make sure that you get what you want um, there's you just have to do your research see if it's something you're, you're willing to sign up for and everything else and if you're looking for more information on hurricane preparedness I'm gonna put a little post up here and that'll help you out even more